Hello, my name is Dren. This is Seven Days to Die Alpha 16.2. And today we are gonna go over candles and torches and how much heat they generate. This was a viewer question, and I wanted to know much more of the specifics, so let's get started. So yeah, the question was asked to me whether candles or torches generated, you know, which one was less heat and by how much, and if, you know, different torches that were, you weren't nearby caused heat. And so here we go, and I'm gonna mark this one here as uh, something here, and let's mark it in. Here we go, heat away. Oh, well, correct that spelling and then we're gonna go over to candles all right let's uh, go okay guys I have some candles here I'm gonna put down 10 this is a much more scientific way I just wanted to generate a lot of heat uh, away just to make sure that I knew what was going on nine and ten candles and now uh, we're gonna go do ten torches these ones are the ones that are gonna be close ish to me Okay guys, here are the 10 torches that I'm going to put down. This way I can also figure out how much heat each single one generates. And uh, so yeah, this is just a new chunk, as you can see. So hopefully this generates some heat. I'll probably have to take some time away and do something in the meantime. Okay guys, I've been playing for, I think, pretty much the whole night. Um, just building things. So what do we have here right now? We have 20-ish percent heat over here at the candles. And the torches are at 20. Okay, and over here we have these 13 torches and they are at 68.85% heat. Okay guys, we're gonna go really far away. So I'm going to put up 10 torches here, and we will come back later for this. Yeah, I'm just really curious to see exactly how this works, because, yeah, you know, you always leave your forge running and then you just leave the area, right? But Get, I want to get out of there so as to not, you know, let it generate too much heat. So I'm just gonna mark it as away, away, away. And we'll be back. Okay guys, here's the candles. And once again it looks to be about 20% heat. So and then this one's all the way up to 60% heat is pretty crazy. So we're gonna go check the sort of distant ones. Back down to zero percent heat. And these ones say 12 heat at the moment. But let's see here. And at this new distant location, we have 0% heat. But yeah, we're not going to linger around too much. So, that's a good test of that, I think. After coming back to these torches over here, these sort of distant ones, we get 68% heat. So I guess they had to take some time to load. Okay, guys. So, I put up a bit of a test here. So there's some solar panels here. Get energy from the sun. Battery bank and a bunch of relays here. Now the, the reason was I got a little bit of a follow-up question asking how much uh, heat does do electrical lights do? I wanted to make sure that the lights were out of the same uh, chunk as the generator, the electrical supplier, whatever you want to call it. So I made it way over here and I put up this tiny pillar with 10 different lights on it and we have zero heat on this thing, which is really good. 
Um, it's been running for a while now. And so that means that, yes, you can use electrical lights to reduce your heat. Um, but you have to worry about your generator because that will produce heat in whatever you're working on. Okay, guys, well, there you have it. We have candles seem to produce two heat. Torches seem to produce 6% uh, heat. Electrical lights produce no heat, but their sources of energy do generate a little bit of heat. Uh, generators being obviously the worst, solar being not bad. And torches that are in the game that are distant but loaded will generate heat. And torches that are placed down but far away don't generate heat. Not until anyways you get close to them again and they start loading. Okay guys, well if you found this useful and helpful, give it a share. Um, perhaps feel free to subscribe if you want more content like this. Uh, I have a full set of seven days to die let's plays on alpha 15 and 16. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy your alpha 16 seven days to die experiences. Bye bye.